hope you've got something out of that. I really encourage you to write some stuff down tonight, whether it's in your phone, whether it's on a piece of paper, or a pad, whatever, notebook. Morning legends, it is Tuesday morning, it is raining. I am at Perth Airport, it is 5.30, and I am on my way to Alice Springs. Absolutely pumped to be getting back to my hometown where I was born, where I grew up. Going back there for three days to do some coaching and some talks, go back to my old school. Um, got some of my best mates from school still there, so looking forward to seeing them and looking forward to giving back to the place where I learned cricket, where I learned the game and where I lived a big part of my life. Also good to get out of this terrible Perth weather. Shark it. Apparently I nearly got bumped off the flight, just checked in, got an aisle seat, not ideal, I like to travel in a window seat but apparently I'm lucky to be on the flight. send them when I get back to Wi-Fi so good to use this time efficiently. I've also written uh, a bit of a speech for my uh, talk when I was school tomorrow, St. Paul's College, so I have written that out. I've got about a three minute block to speak, so I look forward to getting things and talking to the students at St. Paul's College. Touchdown in Alice, baby. Back to where it all began. For those of you that don't know, I was born in Alice Springs in November 1987. I lived here until I was four years old. Then my family moved to Canberra until I was 10 and then came back to Alice from age 10 to 18. So Alice Springs is home. It's where I went to high school. And so it's always nice to get back here. My parents don't live here anymore. My dad lives at Ayers Rock. My mum lives in Melbourne. So it's nice to get back when I can. This is my old road. I used to live 10 kilometers down this road, Ilpapa Road, out there in the country. And then this is the road into Alice. Here is my primary school, Ross Park Primary, where I went 
as a youngster. And then this is Ross Park Oval, where I used to play soccer. And then over there is Ross Park Nets, where I used to train and RSL Works, my old cricket club, my first cricket club, plays and tra or trains, so I should say. Welcome to our school. Here it is, Ross Park Primary School. Ah, oh, the memories. Here's a few youngsters. I wonder if there's a little skulls over there. This is bringing back memories. Lots of great games here throughout my childhood and my high school years. Here's my man Davey, head of sport here, head of PE. That used to be the old English block. Is that still the English block? Yep. yep. Used to get learn my English in the classrooms over there. There's the library. This is the science block. This is the old hall. And this is a new building I've never seen before. Look at this cricket pitch. This is what we used to play into house cricket on. Scored a few runs and wickets on here. Got a few ducks as well. It's now footy season, but this school is exceptional. This is the Chris Tudor Centre, a new building. Chris Tudor was the headmaster here for many, many years. The headmaster when I was um, here, and he was a big cricket fan. He has called this new centre the Front Foot Food Technology Centre. And over here, we've got the cover drive balcony. How good, C big cricket fan. Good work, Mr. Tudor. How cool is this classroom? Normal classroom. Normal desks, whiteboard, and look at this. Cycling desks. Make sure the kids are active and engaged while they're learning. How good. St. Philip's College, always thinking outside the box. Hey vlog, I'm just here at my mate Davey's house in Alice. Just been spending the last hour and a half um, doing some admin, replying to emails uh, that I wrote on the plane and just sending them. Did a post on social media, edited um, today's vlog that's going up now. It's being published, it's being uploaded to YouTube now. Coaching in an hour, so just been spending this time middle of the day um, getting all my admin done that I have to do every day. Um, doesn't stop even though I'm on the road. Hey vlog, just got down here to Traeger Park. Some of you may know Traeger Park as um, they've played Cricket Australia have played some first class fixtures here. The Vic Bush Rangers um, have used it a few times. It's actually been hosted a Sheffield Shield final here out the back behind me. This is where I learn a lot of my cricket. I grew up in Alice Springs playing here at Traeger Park. I scored 100 here when I was 16. These are the nets that are newly built while well, the last ever since I've not been here. So I left 13 years ago, so probably not that new anymore. But cracking facility um, brings back a lot of memories and it's great to be back here about to run a session. Nice shot. Keep going, Cooper. Lovely, that looks, that looks heaps better, mate. Nice, Cooper. How's that feeling, Lucas? Feels better, feels more stable as well. Quality, mate, quality, simple things. Yes, chum. Quality batting. Okay, you just pushed that one a bit, Lucas, because your weight was back. Yep. You sort of had to then reach for it. Yep. When you get your weight forward, you can let it come and sort of hit it under your eyes. Tino, Tino, stay there. Look where your hips are facing. Look where your front foot's facing. Where do you think your bat wants to go? That way, where you're trying to hit the ball. That way. So what can you do to change, fix that? Exactly, exactly. More side on there. Yep. Means you're more side on there, which means your back can flow. As soon as you go this way, look where your hands and bat want to go. Yeah, so try and really stay side on so you can swing exactly where you want the ball to go. Does that make sense? Yep. Cool. Better, better. If, you, if your foot faces straight down, your hips are going to go with it. So just close that foot a little bit more to mid off. Okay, Chris, your looks like you're hitting the ball beautifully. You time the ball nicely. You're a very dominant bottom hand player. Shot, Moses. Test him out here, Lucas. Well played, that's it, mix up the length. Even throw, Aiden, Lucas, even throw from two metres in front of the crease. Give him a bit more pace, test them out a bit, challenge him. Good Tino, good Tino, nice and still at release and then react. Not using that? No, I just can't hold it. Good. 
Nice timing, Chris. Yes, Moses, good. So that was the head again, what we spoke about, Tino, just got to straighten that head up. As soon as you get across, you got to go around your pad. Nice shot. No feet, Chris, try and get across to it. Yeah, yeah, mix it up. That's alright, Tino, just keep trying to be curious about what's happening. Just trying to think through why you missed it. Boys, thanks, thanks a lot for your time. It's obviously you weren't forced to be here, so you guys made the choice to come and try and learn and better yourself. So well done for that. I hope you've got some value. Like, I'm fortunate, um, and I'll, I'll be at St. Phil. Who goes to St. Phillips? Everyone but you, Tino? Yeah. Yep. So I'm doing a talk at school tomorrow, so you'll hear a little bit more about my story, but I'm, I'm fortunate now to travel the world coaching. But it's all basic stuff. Like I say, I was pretty much saying the same stuff to all of you, with little differences. All that you need to sort of, all that you guys need to do is just try and understand the fundamentals and then try and just do volume and repetition. Try and just hone those basics. You can never hit enough underarms. Hendo was saying that when he was up in Darwin at the Strike League, Bancroft and Bazisto were doing an hour every day of just top hand drills. They're professional cricketers, but they're just trying to groove and, and get that muscle memory and that repetition happening. So that sort of stuff, two hours of underarms, overarms, underarms, overarms, it, it's not ever too much if you're practicing the right things. I hope you've got something out of that. I really encourage you to write some stuff down tonight, whether it's in your phone, whether it's on a piece of paper or a pad, whatever, notebook. Yeah. Write stuff down, whatever five things you took out of this. It doesn't have to be something I said. It might be something you just had a discovery or learned something. The more you can sort of understand what's going on in your game, the more sort of awareness you have, the more you can then become consistent. Hey vlog, awesome session has just been finished. Great to be working with those six juniors. Hopefully they got something out of that. Um, I've got some footy going on in the background here, some AFL, it is AFL Grand Final here this weekend. AFL is the number one sport here in Central Australia. There's some great footballers have come out of Alice Springs. It's more popular than cricket, but it was really good to, to have these young guys um, commit their time this afternoon to um, come and, and learn and, and develop their game. So good to work with them. Absolutely stunning day here. It's been uh, as high as 29 degrees and it's nearly 6 p.m. Sun is just starting to set and it's still nice and warm. It's great to be back. Really love being back here where my childhood um, began and where I lived and I hope you guys have enjoyed this insight into Alice Springs and day one. I look forward to bringing you more tomorrow. You beauty.